What's up guys, it's On Malik back here, and today I'm going to be doing an SDCC Halo Mega Bloks exclusive review. Uh, this set was uh, the Halo Mega Bloks SDC exclusive, as I just stated, uh, for 2015 this year. This is a uh, they've been releasing an uh, image of the set uh, prior to SDCC, kind of like uh, showing us what it's going to be, and then they did a big reveal, and it was a pretty cool set. Uh, we all, I think, we all know what it is by now. It has a Master Chief, Agent Locke, and the Arbiter. All in exclusive uh, paint applications and uh, armor sets, and they were and they're just including this little stand uh, that is in this really nice packaging. I mean, this box looks absolutely amazing. I think it's probably one of the best boxes mega, the in the mega, Halo Mega Box line. I mean, it's a really good like. Uh, Material is very hard very strong. It even has like a magnet opening feature I'm going to show you that just now, but before we open the box uh, I just want to show you uh, so if I do tilt this up as you can see there's the mega blocks halo logo It kind of fades and goes with the lights. So that's pretty cool I do like the whole design of it It looks really Promethean like and the whole thing is just has so many nice angles and curves or not curves I mean angles to it which look really cool uh, Especially on the front the sides not too much I mean it's pretty much flat on the top and bot uh, top and the sides and the bottom especially the back here is very flat But that's not too important because the back looks extremely Extremely nice and up here as it does a uh, ages eight and up uh, nothing on the top and on the bottom we just have uh, the official stuff uh, and some some serial numbers megabox.com all the stuff 343 industries some cool stuff like that but the coolest part about this thing I think is uh, opening the set uh, this has two ma it has magnets uh, on this side so this is kind of like a little tab right here which I'm just gonna pull on and then I open it up and bam that's what's on the inside uh, so as we know we have all seen this image before I think if you uh, I did have a video on it when, uh, on my channel when they f first revealed it but uh, yeah so we have agent lock master chief and the arbiter with their exclusive weapons uh, so you got like the phantom uh, or the 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 Prophet's Bane right here for the Arbor, that's his custom uh, energy sword just got a, re a really nicely painted assault rifle for the master chief right here and then a really nice uh, nicely painted uh, what's it, uh, battle rifle as well for uh, Agent Lock there as well. And they're all in uh, different armor sets. These are not armor sets that you can buy in the regular sets that were released uh, for Halo 5 Guardians. They're all uh, slightly different. Not too different, but they're just like slightly, slightly different. So uh, because this is uh, such a nice packaging, I did want to go over the packaging more uh, a little bit more. Uh, right here on the bottom, uh, I, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's uh, some really nice like foam right here, which is also pretty cool. So uh, it's really nicely packaged. Uh, right here we do have the tab or the little panel that says Halo 5 Guardians Limited Edition. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's a piece, um, if I'm not mistaken, that's going to go onto the actual build portion of the set. But uh, yeah, so uh, and right here we have the instruction booklet, I'm assuming. Actually, I actually haven't opened this one up yet, so I don't really know what I'm... I'm just going to kind of go off the top of my head. Oh yeah, so there's like the, top, the front build. I'll, I'll show you guys the instruction booklet a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so continuing to look at the box, we have a tab right here. And inside is the set. So... Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what the box look like looks like it looks pretty cool I mean, I really like, I'm probably gonna keep this box I mean if you guys do have this set I definitely say keep it because it is a really cool box But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna build this thing real quick and then I'm gonna review it build so before we jump into the uh, close-up looks of the figure I, I just wanted to uh, take a closer look at the actual stand because it's just pretty much a stand not too much uh, nothing too special about it so there's the Halo 5 uh, Guardians limited edition logo right there as you can see, all three characters uh, of the Halo 5 team right here are looking really good. Uh, the stain is really cool. I really like the colors they use. They use a really nice silver, uh, this great translucent or transparent orange they got here. And uh, I kind of accented with that gunmetal gray type uh, uh, with the black panel right there on the front. This all looks really good. The whole color scheme just really works for me. I really like how this looks. It has a really Promethean look to it. Even though there are no Prometheans in this actual set, Nonetheless, the set just has a, a huge Promethean vibe, vibe, which uh, I think might mean that we might be seeing more Prometheans in Halo 5, as we did see in some of the trailers and gameplay footage so far. Prometheans will be making a return, but who knows? They may be playing an even bigger role in Halo 5 than we originally thought, because uh, I don't know why, but Mega Bloks put a, a, a Promethean type stand here instead of uh, something else. But I think that's pretty cool. It's, get, it's better than uh, just getting like a little uh, ground, uh, like 
mound of dirt or something like that for the figures to stand on. It looks a lot cooler, this whole Promethean uh, look, but there's nothing too special about this uh, uh, stand right here. I mean, it's just a pretty basic build, uh, really simple. I think these are some windscreen pieces right here in this uh, Gunnel Grape uh, color, so that's pretty cool. It's a really nice reuse of parts from different lines but the figures just look really great uh stand posed on the stand i mean if you buy this set like uh you're gonna want to keep it just like this you can have it on like a bookshelf or something like that it's gonna look great anywhere or on a desk somewhere it's gonna it's just gonna look really cool because it just, all the figures uh, right here, there's such big characters in the uh, series, and this is such a nice uh, uh, stand that accents that, and it just uh, it really just goes and flows together. So it looks really really cool, and I really like how this thing turned out. I'm really glad I, could, I was able to pick it up too. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the stand. There's not, not much I can say for it. So let's just jump right into the figures. Hey guys, here is the ma the man himself, the Master Chief. Uh, looking really great in this uh, metallic type green uh, armor uh, mold he got here. I mean, the plastic is molded in that really nice metallic green color with a really nice uh, kind of, it's a different type of black they use for the Under Armour here. It's not like the regular black that we see on the Halo fit figures. I mean, I think it's a lot more, uh, it's, it's, it looks it's more of a really, really dark gray. And I think that looks a lot better than the regular black that they use. So I think that also accents the figure uh, really well, but there's not too many paint applications on him here. He's pretty much like the basic Master Chief, just in this new uh, metallic green color. And I think this is the best one so far. I think it's really accurate to what he looks like in the game. Uh, but one cool thing that he does have right on there on the visor, you can see that huge crack going across it. As he will, his helmet will get cracked in Halo 5, and this is a uh, Master, Chief, Master Chief in Halo 5, so that looks pretty cool as well. Uh, one thing I did want to point out, though, uh, in some of the more recent, uh, more accurate Master Chiefs, we did see the scarring on his uh, uh, on his torso right there, but uh, on this fig, we w uh, don't have that, so that's a little bit uh, strange. I mean, it's not a too, uh, it's not a real problem or anything. It, the figure still looks great nonetheless. I mean, uh, it doesn't really need too much of that uh, extra detail. Uh, it does have that black paint in the middle, so it does a. Uh, uh, make the the Under Armour look a lot more uh, realistic, uh, but yeah. So the figure looks pretty cool. The, there's no new molds here or anything. So it's all pretty basic stuff that we've seen before. I mean, we've gotten so many Master Chiefs in the lines now, but I think this is probably one of the best that we've seen so far. Uh, but then his weapon right here. This is pretty. Uh, this is something pretty special, I think. Uh, this is a, an assault, a, a basic assault rifle that we see, uh, the Halo Four style assault rifle. But it, it's painted really nicely. It's a. It's a regular gray not a gun metal gray but a regular gray mold uh then it has some uh i think it's like a uh i don't know what to call that like a like an off-white kind of ivory uh paint for the top up here which looks really cool and really accurate to the games and then for the the green right here they use the same green that is used on the master chief for his armor it's that gun metal type green it's a slightly lighter though because it is a paint and it's not as thick but uh, nonetheless, it, I do think it matches the armor pretty nicely, uh, and yeah. But then that's not even, uh, that's not all about the weapon. If I do take this off his hand right here, uh, I think you, might, you guys might have saw it already. But right there, uh, you can see that they put some blue paint to show the the the, the bullet count uh, that we see in the gameplay when you're using an assault rifle. You can see like the little screen right there that kind of gives you like a heads up display on your weapon. So that's pretty cool. I mean. It is really nice that they added that little bit of paint that adds so much more detail to this weapon. I don't really, I don't think that's been done on any assault rifle before this. I think it's the first time they've done that. But uh, yeah, this Master Chief fig just looks really, really cool. Uh, if you guys pick this up, you guys are definitely uh, one of the lucky ones. Uh, but this Master Chief uh, fig, I mean, he is like this is like the eighth or seventh one I got. Uh, we've gotten so far. This is only like my third or fourth, but. Mega Bloks has given us so many Master Chiefs in the line so far. So I mean, there's nothing too special. This is probably like the least special fig in this in this set, but nonetheless, he's still such a great figure. Uh, so I'm gonna pull up the, the the last Master Chief we got, and I'll do a comparison real quick. Bring up another Master Chief here, and I know this is not the last Master Chief that we've gotten. The last one was in the uh, the War uh, the Warthog, the UNSC Warthog for 2015 in the summer line that included the Arbiter as well, but. Uh, the reason I didn't include that one is because, I don't know, that one just looked very toy-like and I didn't really like how that looked. But the, this one is from the poly bag that we got, uh, I think, last year in 2014. Uh, just the Master Chief alone uh, by himself in a poly bag. And it was really cool, but uh, this one, before uh, this Master Chief came out, uh, this new uh, this new one for, 20, uh, for 2015, this one was probably the best Master Chief that we've seen so far in the Mega Bloks line. I mean, this one does have that armor detail right there as well. It doesn't have the cracked visor because this is uh, Master Chief from Halo 4. But uh, the one thing I, I don't like about this, and what probably makes this one even more uh, like more of an important fig for me, is the armor color. I mean, Mega Bloks has done many different variations of the Master Chief armor uh, in different plastic molds. But I think uh, this new one for 2015 that they use at the SDCC uh, exclusive fig, it, it really just works. I think they they finally got the Master Chief armor color like down right. I mean, this one is a little bit too light and a little bit too green, but this one's just right. I think it's like not too dark, not too light. 
has a really nice metallic flake to it as well. So I think it's like the perfect Master Chief. Uh, if they included that little scarring right there that this figure has, then it would just be perfect, but they didn't include that. But nonetheless, that is still still such an awesome figure and uh, I think this is probably uh, the best one that one that we've gotten so far but this one you can buy like anywhere it's, I think it's available at Toys R Us now even it's not it's not really too rare this one ho however is extremely rare and was only available at STCC so that's probably why this one has a really nice uh uh, armor set going and has better colors and whatnot but I just want to show you guys that just to compare the last the old and the new Master Chiefs and our next fig figure here is the Arbiter from Halo 5 and this new armor this is a golden armor that looks really really cool we saw it in that teaser trailer the first time uh, for uh, I think the second teaser trailer for Halo 5 and this thing uh, just looks really really cool in this mega box form I really like how they did this uh, we did get in the Warthog along with the Master Chief this year but uh, I did I wasn't able to pick that one up but seeing some other people's videos uh, and seeing some different comparisons I think this one is better I mean the the plastic seems to be a lot different the last one was a little really yellowy this one's really that really nice gold color that mega box has in their color palette but don't really use that often the this one they, they don't really bring it out that much with uh, some sets, but I mean this one is just full out in that really really nice gold color that looks super nice. I really like how this looks. I think they just got the Arbiter uh, downright like perfect right here. The, the head mold for me is a little bit large and it's hard to see his eyes I guess you could say, but nonetheless it is a li still does look like uh, what it's trying to portray here, the Arbiter. I mean when you see this, the first thing you're going to think this is the Arbiter. If you do know anything about Halo, you're going to know this is the Arbiter for sure. But uh, he has some really nice paint applications going across his whole uh, armor piece right here. Across uh, his head, you do have the red uh, stripe going down his face. Then in the eye holes, you also have some red paint in there as well. Uh, on the back, you don't have anything right there, but on the once uh, armored uh, sleeve he has here, he has red lines kind of carrying out throughout the, throughout the whole arm. Then the other arm right here is bare, which is pretty accurate to what the uh, character is like in-game. Uh, and then, oh, whoops, I just knocked him off his stand. Uh, but... Uh, uh, on his torso here, he does have some more red markings on his chest, which are also pretty accurate as well. And I think that's pretty much going to do it for the red markings on this fig. That's, that looks really cool. I mean, I really like how they went all out on the uh, uh, markings and design of this fig. Uh, this is actually the first time I've been able to get the Arbiter. I wasn't able to pick up that Warhog set yet. I will be getting that later, but this is the first time I've gotten the Ar Halo 5 Arbiter, so this looks really, really cool. I really like how this turned out. He's not too large or anything. He, they finally got the size right for the Elite, so the Arbiter actually looks normal for once, uh, standing next to Master Chief here. But uh, yeah, this figure looks super cool. And probably one of my favorite things about this figure here is the weapon. The weapon here, we do have the Prophet's Bane, which is uh, the Arbiter's signature uh, energy sword, but uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna back up the Arbiter right here real quick looking at the energy sword right here This is not a basic energy sword So I mean the molding for this is just a regular energy sword uh, that we've seen for the Halo 4 type uh, sets That Megabox has given us out uh, recently, but then there's also uh, this uh, kind of this yellow lightning look on it I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm gonna try and focus in here real quick uh, Yeah, there we go. So you guys can see those uh yellow markings that are like of lightning going across the whole thing we also have that, that golden uh, uh hilt right there which is also pretty accurate as well and it has a kind of like a misty yellow effect uh carrying out with the light lightning which looks really really cool so i really like how mega blocks did this and i think it's this is uh it's not that accurate to the prophet's bane because the prophet's bane does have is supposed to have a different uh shaping to it but nonetheless i do think mega blocks portrayed this well with the pieces they had uh this is really, really accurate. I mean, uh, considering how small these lines are, I mean, on camera it looks pretty big and stuff, but seeing up close in person, these lines are so minuscule and just such really nice details that Megabox didn't really have to put in there, but they did anyway. So that is really, really cool, and I really like how they did that. So I think that wep this weapon right here is almost as good as the fig itself. I mean, uh, that weapon is really perfect. Probably the best energy sword we've seen ever, pretty much, I think. I mean, there's not. I, I don't think there's any uh, energy swords better than that out there, but... Yeah, so the weapons in this set uh, are also really great. The assault rifle is good. We've seen a lot of customized assault rifles, but this energy sword by far is one of the best energy swords ever. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much going to do for the Arbiter, Arbiter, and now let's look at Agent Locke. Here he is, the main man himself, the uh, big bad of Halo 5, Mr. Jameson Locke. Or Agent Jameson Lock, I should be saying there. Uh, this is probably uh, the figure I've been most anticipating uh, ever since uh, New York Toy Fair for this year when they revealed him there. Uh, and, ever, and ever since uh, he made the cover of Halo 5, I wanted to see how Mega Box would portray Agent Locke. He, his armor set looks really cool. The character sounds even better. And uh, I think Mega Box portrayed him really, really well in this uh, in Mega Box form here. He looks really cool. Uh, now, we did get him in the Vulture. I wasn't actually able to pick that one up yet, so I'm going to be getting that later. But uh, So I can't really do a comparison of the other one. But seeing other people's videos and comparisons, uh, this one is just pretty much a darker mold. 
for all the areas that are in gunmetal gray. Uh, it's just pretty much a darker gray instead of a, having that kind of lighter tone. I do like this one better. I think it's more accurate and it has it has a metallic flake to it as well, just like the Arbiter and the Master Chief do as well. So I think that makes it look really, really cool. Uh, on camera here, it looks kind of black and it looks kind of uh, like the same color as the the Under Armour part, but it really isn't. It, like the forearms right here are gun, in gunmetal gray and this upper part right here, this is, in the, this is like the Under Armour part which is in regular black but uh yeah i mean this figure is just really really cool uh the, the whole armor set it is hard to see on camera but uh in real in person it does look really really nice uh his visor here looks perfect i think that blue just stands out so much and looks so menacing on him and it really just portrays the character super well then the, I really like the whole uh, the the whole mold of this armor i think it looks really perfect to what it looks like in the games and what we've seen in the trailer so far Looks really sleek, a lot smaller, less bulky, not like the Master Chief or anything. He looks uh, like a hunter, pretty much, which is what he's supposed to be, right? He's supposed to be hunting the Master Chief and Blue Team, but I think uh, he does look uh, just like that. And Megabox, Megabox did a really great job uh, portraying him for, uh, in this fig uh, minifigure form, but... Taking a, look, a better look at his torso right here, you can see that Under Armour piece. It is different from what we've gotten before, and is a lot more sleek and whatnot. It looks really cool, and it's, 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 uh, I think uh, for Halo 5, Mega Box will probably be using this uh, Under Armour, this uh, new uh, Under Torso uh, for most of the Spartans. But uh, yeah, but one thing that I did want to point out, because this, since this is the first time I've gotten Agent Lock, and this is the first time I've been reviewing him, I'm going to point this out on this video. Uh, one thing I did, uh, we did see uh, originally in uh, New York Toy Fair, and I, everybody thought it was a flaw at first, and Megabox would include it later, but uh, uh, through seeing more official images, uh, he doesn't have any shoulder pads, like, uh, if, you show him, if I show him Master Chief right here, he has that green shoulder pad going over, right? Well, looking at uh, Agent Lock here, he has nothing, I mean, it's just the bare, if I took off uh, Agent uh, or Master Chief's uh, shoulder armor here, you'd see the same thing that's, that's under Agent Lock right now. It's just that uh, bare uh, underarm like bicep piece. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, Mega Blocks they they do things pretty well, and I think on this figure they kind of did risk it by putting this uh, this upper arm piece. I uh, but I don't think it worked. I mean, uh, I don't know if they could have fit uh, an upper arm shoulder piece because uh, that probably would have looked too bulky and wouldn't fit with the figure of Agent Lock. I think it, it probably wouldn't have probably would have ruined the whole look uh, because Agent Lock's supposed to be more sleek and less bulky looking and I think they did achieve that it's just that I think they probably should have went with a new arm mold because since, uh, since this is such a big character you'd, you'd want to do him right and we will be seeing more and more uh, armor sets of this so you can use reuse that uh, new mold that they'd make but uh, they didn't make a new mold for this one at all they just stuck with the, the uh, regular upper arm piece that they have and I don't think that carried out too well because you do have this like bump right here uh, which I think is okay kind of because if you look at uh, Agent Locke he does have a a really really tiny uh, upper arm plate that looks almost like this kind of but uh, they didn't even give us any paint applications or anything that would show that he has armor up here it looks kind of like he just uh, forgot to put on his armor up on his, on his upper arm and then uh, kind of just went out into battle but uh, yeah that's kind of like my one flaw with this figure I just don't like how Megabox did that hopefully they'll be putting out a, a new mold for that but uh I mean, it's not even that big of a deal. I think it looks fine. I mean, when you look at this figure, you know, you're going to see Agent Locke. You're not going to see any other character. It looks like what it's supposed to be. It looks like Agent Locke, and it does a great job doing that. But, yeah, I mean, looking at the armor, uh, the leg armor as well, so these are all, these are our, uh, these, blah, my bad, uh, these are all uh, new moles as well. Uh, for the legs right here uh his uh toe piece or his uh, i mean not his toe his uh bottom leg portions also have some like toe portions on them uh, if you can see they kind of stick out i thought that was a little neat too and they are kind of sleek and a lot thinner than what we see usually for other uh spartan figures i mean usually the spartans have like big bulky legs and whatnot but Spar uh lock here is very sleek really uh slimmed down and looks really really cool I, I think it looks really menacing but uh one thing i did want to point out oh, i just broke his arm right here but uh yeah one thing i did want to point out with the weapon though uh, uh, the weapons in this set were really, really cool, but this one I think kind of dropped the ball right here. Uh, if you look at the image, I'm gonna try and sneak it in right there. Yeah, if you see Agent Locke and uh, that battle rifle, and the image it looks a little bit metallic -y and stuff. This they kind of they didn't put a single flake, they didn't put anything. All they just put was a regular uh, uh, light gray battle rifle with some gold bands on it. I mean, I don't I don't think that was the best option for Mega Boss. I think they should give this like at least like a metallic silver flake going around it, then with the metal bands, because I mean you take a weapon like this right in the same set which is super detailed, and they also give us this for Agent Locke. I, I don't think that does the character justice. I mean, he should have a better weapon than this, right? I mean, it should be a lot more detailed and whatnot. Uh, this is the regular battle rifle mold, uh, by the way. This is not like a new mold for Halo 5. I definitely think we should be seeing new molds for Halo 5 because this scope really does not make any sense according to Halo 5 for the battle rifle. Uh, anyways, but 
I mean, I do think they should have went with a silver uh, metallic uh, uh, plastic mold for this set, uh, or for this rifle at least. I think that would have looked a lot cooler. But no, nonetheless, I mean, it's still really, really cool. Uh, the weapon is just, it's not really a big deal or anything. Uh, you can put any weapon on this Agent Lock figure and, uh, figure and it would still look great anyways. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for Agent Lock. Now let's conclude this review. Before we conclude this review, I know I just lied to you guys. I, I said I would conclude it real, but real quick before, uh, let's take a look at the instruction book that's included in the set. It's, a, it's like a square right here. It says Halo Icons Correct. Uh, character pack, which is the name of the set, it says ages 8 and up, 90 pieces. Then when you open it up, you get like a bio on each uh, character included in the set, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to read it out or anything. This thing's like a novel right here, but uh, if you want to pause it and uh, uh, read it or read it over right here, you do get some bios on each character, Spartan Lock, Arbiter, and Master Chief right there. Then continuing through, we do get uh, an image of the actual set, uh, which is pretty cool, and a really nice CGI render. Then there's just some basic steps and whatnot, nothing too special, just basic build stuff. And then on the back right here, it just shows you how to put together the characters. And then on uh, the last portion, we do get to see some of the uh, 2015 sets. I do have a review for Juma Dom's uh, Ghost right here, so if you guys want to go check that out on my channel, you can. Uh, then there's the Banshee, or the, the Banshee right here, then the... I forgot the name of this one, sorry about that, I forgot the name of that one, and the Scorpion, or the, the Skila, I forgot the, I forgot the name of that, but yeah, so that's pretty much going to do it for the instruction book. So guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this SDCC 2015 Halo Mega Box review. Uh, now I know you guys are probably asking where we're at. Where did I get this set? Uh, I did get it online on eBay, and I did pay quite a bit of money for it. I mean, this thing retailed for twenty dollars at SDCC. If you guys were able to go, you could have picked it up for twenty dollars, which is actually pretty, which is actually pretty worth it. I mean, uh, considering the box, how uh, how much of a higher quality mega box we went for that box and like the instruction book everything everything's just so much better quality than we what we usually get in the sets uh, in stores i think twenty dollars is a great price but uh all the guys that uh uh online were selling it for like double the money i mean uh with tax with with tax shipping and everything uh, in canadian dollars i had to pay 84 bucks for this thing which is probably pushing it a little bit i mean yeah it's quite pricey for just three figures in a stand i mean 84 bucks is a lot but I, I, I really needed to have these uh, figs because they're just so collectible and such good quality. I mean, it's probably like, the best version of these figs we're going to get in a while. Uh, maybe until like next SDCC, we'll see some like better uh, Master Chiefs and Agent Locks and whatnot. But uh, I think these are probably like, the best... Uh, uh, I mean, it is worth worth picking up if you can get it online. If you were at SDCC, I definitely think you should have got it. I mean, it, it is over, so if you didn't pick it up, I, I guess I'm, I feel kind of sorry for you, but... You can still pick this up online. I do think it's available uh, on eBay and whatnot, and then probably some different sites as well. I, w I did pick this up off eBay, and it, uh, it came in pretty cool. I mean, there wasn't any, like, plastic wrapping or anything over that. I just got, like, the box straight up uh, in the mail, so that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, so I don't think it was tampered with or anything. I mean, it looks perfectly fine, but... Yeah, the set is super cool. Uh, definitely worth picking up if you had the money and like the resources to get it. Uh, definitely say you got to pick this one up. I mean, super collectible. This thing's probably going to be worth a lot in a... In a couple of years, and you can probably sell it back and make your money back quite easily. So uh, I think I'm gonna be holding on to this one for a long time, though. I really like this one. Probably one of my favorite sets this year, even though it's a, uh, even though it's a SDCC ex exclusive. I do really like it as well. But yeah, so that's pretty much gonna do it for SDCC 2015 for Halo, at least for me. I mean, I did review the the Spartan Warrior a, a couple of days ago, uh, and now I'm just gonna I just reviewed this one. So that's pretty much gonna do it for SDCC 2015 uh, exclusives and uh, my channel for now. I mean, I I do think I might be getting the zombie exclusive uh, for Call of Duty. I might. I'll pick that one up as well. I'm not really sure or anything, but uh, no promises or anything, guys. But uh, I I might pick that one up. I, I'm not sure, but yeah. Uh, so the set is really great, worth picking up. If you guys haven't gotten uh, gotten it, you guys, I definitely think you should spend the money. I think it's worth it. Uh, I wouldn't go over a hundred dollars or anything, but anything below like eighty dollars, I think is definitely worth the set. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much gonna do it for me, guys. So tell me what you guys think about this set in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more Halo Mega Box, Assassin's Creed Mega Box, Call of Duty Mega Box, and LEGO reviews, uh, please uh, remember to hit that subscribe button because uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos uh, pretty soon. And please make sure to check out some of my other videos as well because uh, I do have some uh, I have some more SDCC exclusive sets on my channel and uh, some uh, regular reviews as well. So that's pre pretty much going to do it for me, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.